Then I ate the cookies and the carrot for the reindeers? Yeah. Did, she, did Santa leave you presents? Yeah. Oh, let's go look. The princess dress. Santa leave you all these? What? No, please. Santa leaves these for me. Both days. <laughs> we got something special. Socks. This is not the present. <laughs> so heavy. Whoa. Good morning and welcome to the second half of the hockey season. So it is the day after Christmas. We have a game today against Timra at home and I really thought I was gonna play today, especially with what happened in the last game. But, but no, at least we have three games this week and all I can do is, you know, focus on myself and be ready whenever needed. Uh, get ready for my next opportunity and I know I'm not the one making the decisions on on who's playing so uh, yeah it's out of out of my hands in a way just heading off for morning skate I'm tr gonna try to bring the GoPro for a couple goalie drills possibly gonna get a workout in and yeah it's fun uh, Whitney's back Fox is here they get to come to the game tonight so uh, let's make it a good day I need it. <laughs> I don't I don't like the shooters for this. Yeah. Not enough. No, no. Oh, nice tip. Oh. You touch it? Ah, oh. <laughs> Sweet, mate. Ah, not enough. set up two options in front a good hit on the post knees together ready to move Woo. 
That's all good. Thank you, friend. That's it for the morning skate. Don't touch it, boy. Tight game, tight loss, but my focus is now turned against the Fire Stud game on the road that I'm starting. My plan is to just go out there, have fun, play my game, and I've had a good good week of preparation, good week of practice, and I feel ready and that way I'm confident and it's like like taking a test. You study for the test and then when the test comes, you're confident that you know all the answers. It's so important to uh, get that confidence from practice since I haven't been playing as much as I would like and it's hard to find that rhythm when I'm not on a roll. And um, So whenever it's, it's practice time, it's time to nail the, those things down and then it's game time, it's you, hopefully you're ready to go. I can't go into game needing to win. I'm just one player on the team and it's very, goaltending is a very team based performance a position <laughs> in my mind at least um, so i'm just gonna go out there do my job take it one shot at a time because that's all i can do mellandagshockeyn fortsätter det här i karlstad att ta färdigstad emot läxan i vad som kan bli en underhållande match nu är vi redo för att släppa pucken här i karlstad färdigstad mot läxan det går att bli bra och här går det undan nu går Skottet mot Adam och hans 
That's back-to-back -back starts for me when the game winner has been an own goal. And for us as a team, it seems like things are just going from from bad to worse. It was a very, very difficult game. Um, I think there's like 25 or 26 shots on goal and and with the advanced stats, 22 of those were scoring chances and seven grade A scoring chances. So not like there was a bunch of easy throw-ins for to, to feel good. So uh, yeah, I was challenged all the way through. Expected goals, for that game was 3.7 and obviously doesn't even count that that own goal and um yeah last start i had the expected goals was four and i gave up four and again four goals but if you take those own goals away it kind of gives you a more realistic number about the performance but the first goal was the the game winner breakaway right off to right off the hop to start the game uh made the save and then our, our d was coming and breaking and off his skate right into the back of the net and Second goal, they had extended zone time and they uh, made a quick play on the boards. There's a there's a guy on the in front of the net and there's a guy next to the post as well. So kind of a couple threats, but they made a nice tip. His stick blade, he wasn't showing a tip or anything. He looked like he was going to catch it and right at the last minute. He kind of just turned his wrist and it was a perfect tip, like right, right here. So it's really happened so fast, really hard to react on that. Third goal, they had a power play and they just kind of used the high tip and it was pretty much a perfect, perfect tip. I even, I got a good read on it. I got a good push on it, try to get my blocker as far as I could, but it right in the top corner. So that was, that was perfect. And then the fourth goal, eight in the third, uh, it was kind of a two on one. It was, it was a pretty tough goal, tough to analyze actually. Two on one guy was going hard back door. So I kind of had to read that and take my depth a little deeper because of that. And RD ended up sliding and they, the puck carrier made a play right to the middle. And the whole time, He's got the backdoor option, so I can't go out too far. I'm the tapping backdoor, so kind of had to play it a little deeper, and he got to drag it, drag it, while all the, all the time having the backdoor option, and then he just shot it high, high glove. I think the shot was kind of a bubbly puck, like a little butterfly off the blade, so even harder to read. But yeah, it, it was tough with the with the guy backdoor as a threat the whole time, and then their guy getting to walk to the middle. Even though it's a couple losses in a row, a couple games were four goals against, it's, we have a lot of hockey left. And the biggest thing for me is to take the positives and see the game beyond the stats. And I feel like I played a great game. I felt good. Uh, might be a little weird to hear that after a four goal loss, but I really like where my game is at. I really like how I played. So that's kind of what I have to keep in mind, even though the stats or the, the score sheet might not show that. So that's why we do the ex expected saves and we do the adjusted save percentages where it's easier to keep track of the performance over time realistically. Like if there is a, a five breakaway goals in one game or if you're giving up bad goals. And like I said, there's those, uh, those own goals that have been happening a lot. So uh, you kind of get to see through those hard, uh, save percentage versus um, goals against average, which I'm not a big fan at all of. So we, we kind of get to see deeper into the goalie stats and the performance. And uh, for me, that's it's been good. The adjusted save percentage pretty much has been above 93 for, for all my games this season. So I feel like I've been playing consistent and well, con considering the challenges I've faced in the games. And in pro hockey, like I said, everything happens fast. So you just have to have a positive outlook on everything. If you start to dwell on this and then you kind of start to chip away your confidence. So. The big thing for me is to just kind of see the performance as it truly is, which I believe was a good one. I think, believe the coaching staff believes that as well. And um, so we're gonna just, just build on that and take the positives and then not just focus on eight goals in the last two games. It's, <laughs> that's, it's, we're gonna, we're way past that where we can, we can see through that. But like I said, I'm not a huge fan of save percentage since there are games like this when out of the 26, 25 shots, 22 are scoring chances, and then some other games, other goalies can get easier point shots and throw ins in the net. Um, that's why I really like the expected goals 
against. That's NHL does a really good job of tracking those stats. Uh, and I, that's not perfect either with counting how hard the shots were, but uh, I believe that's the, the biggest stat that you should look at and that really reveals the, the performance of the goalie. And goals against average, same thing. If your team gives up 20 shots or 40 shots, it's your goals against average is gonna be two or four and it, it doesn't matter. Goals against average can be thrown in the trash, but uh, yeah, I'm happy our league does expected goals against and yeah, that's my feel and vision is that that is the only stat that really matters for goalies. And we're gonna finish off with the real star of the YouTube channel. I got Mickey and then I got, I got Mickey from Disneyland. That is the best toy and then I see him in Minnesota. Minnesota? We're in we're in Lexington right now. Which one's better, Lexington or Minnesota? Mm, Minnesota. <laughs> Mommy's girl. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.